wanted the best, you've got the best podcast. The hottest, hottest. podcast in the world. In the world. The Chris Voss Show, the preeminent podcast with guests so smart you may experience serious brain bleed. Get ready, get ready. Strap yourself in. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times because you're about to go on a monster education roller coaster with your brain. Now, here's your host, Chris Voss. Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show.com. The Chris Voss Show.com. Hey, we're coming here with another great podcast. We certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for being here. To see the video version of this, go to youtube.com forward slash Chris Voss. Hit the bell notification button. Also, go to goodreads.com forward slash Chris Voss. See everything we're reviewing and reading over there. Also, go to our other websites, our different groups on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. There's just multiple accounts everywhere you go. Follow them and get involved. And today we have a most amazing author. He's the author of a multitude of books. We'll get into that. His name is John Galligan and his new book that's coming out, Bad Moon Rising, a bad axe country novel comes out June 29th, 2021. You can pre-order it this time. This is book three of three for a series he's doing. And this episode is brought to you by a sponsor, ifi-audio.com and their micro idsd signature it's a top of the range desktop transportable dac and headphone app that will supercharge your headphones it has two brown burr dac chips in it and will decode high-res audio and mqa files we're using it in the studio right now i've loved my experience with it so far it just makes everything sound so much more richer and better and takes things to the next level ifi audio is an award-winning audio tech company with one aim in mind to improve your music enjoyment of quality sound eradicate noise distortion and hiss from your listening experience check out their new incredible lineup of dax and audio enhancement devices at ifi-audio.com and here he is on the show for us welcome to the show john how are you i'm fine thanks thanks for having me there you go. Thanks for coming. This is going to be pretty exciting. We were talking pre-show about your book and all the amazing stuff you got going on. What are the plugs where people can find you on the internet? Find me at johngalligan.com, J-O-H-N-G-A-L-I-G-A-N.com. There you go. That sure makes it easy. Pick up the book at your local fine book sellers. So, John, what mode? Tell us a little bit about you and some of your other books. You can get a plug in here for the other ones too, if you okay, want. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm actually the author of two series. The book that's coming out soon, Bad Axe County, is the third. In, a, in the Bad Axe County series, those are crime novels that are set in a unique environment in Wisconsin, a very rugged, beautiful, and scary place. Bad Axe County is a made-up county in a real place, and those books star the first ever female sheriff in Wisconsin, Sheriff Heidi Kick, and she fights the bad guys in Bad Axe County. Before that, I have a four-book series that is also a crime novel series. It's a murder mystery series that's where everything is fly fishing. The, my protagonist is a trout bum who's crisscrossing the country in an old RV, smoking bad cigars and drinking tang and vodka and trying to fish himself to death. Tang and vodka. And basically saves his life when he finds other dead bodies. Anyway, yeah, I'm here really today to talk about Bad Moon Rising, which comes out on, on June 29th. The there third you go. The Bad Axe County series. June 29th, <laughs> Tang and Vodka. I think I tried that once in my vodka days. That's nasty. It's a little too good. It goes down a little too easy. I had an accident with that once myself. Man, yeah, that, uh, this reminded me of some of my vodka days. I might have been, you know, you might have based this character on someone I know. I'm just an arcing overview of the book. You gave us a rundown. Do you want to get more in depth with some of the stories or tease out some of the parts? I imagine the problem with novels is that we can never tell the ending, of course. But exactly, we don't want to give it away, especially because it's a crime novel and it's a whodunit. Um, there you go. The arc yeah. of the character, the my my character is that there's this phenomenal young woman that I find in rural Wisconsin. This is a, a young woman who grows up on a farm. She can probably bench press about 200. She can drive every kind of vehicle ever made. She can shoot a gun. She can milk a cow. She's a valedictorian of her high school class. She plays the saxophone, is on the speech team, is on the rodeo team, and is the Dairy Queen. These just phenomenally accomplished young rural women. And my character is named Heidi. She is a Dairy Queen when she's just getting out of high school. And things go badly for her and her family. And she basically is broken down 
and remade. And we pick her up about 15 years later as the sheriff of her local uh, local area. And in that capacity, uh, we now have not only a younger person than has ever been sheriff before, but a woman who has never been sheriff before. Suddenly crime looks different from this perspective. And so in the first book, Bad X County, she uncovers a sex trafficking ring. Turns out that this area is on what they call the Silk Road, which is basically a, a supply line from big cities like Milwaukee and Chicago for drugs and women to places like the fracking fields in North Dakota. So she discovers this passing through her area and deals with that. In the second book, which is um, Dead Man Dancing, she discovers that there is a group somewhat similar to the Proud Boys hiding out in the coolies and training for the race war. And she has to deal with that. In the third book, Bad Moon Rising, the one coming out currently, she's got something of a serial killer uh, on the loose in her area that she has to find after she discovers the, uh, the body of a homeless man who's been buried alive and escaped and died again. Wow. Uh, so she's got a lot on her hands. Nice. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. It goes through all the twists and travels and stuff like that. Why did you pick a woman to be the lead role in this? Yeah, that's a good story. I In my fly fishing series, the series of books before this, I had a character who was lived on a farm with her with her elderly father. And that character was just some, I love that character. It was very popular, but she was a minor character. So I always wanted to develop that further. And then when I was researching rural crime for the next series, the Bad Axe County series, I came across a really interesting study that, that it was a study of sex trafficking and sex crime in, in the rural Midwest. And it was an academic study. The authors went out and interviewed law enforcement leaders across five states in rural communities. And these were exclusively men. And the question was, tell us about sex trafficking in your jurisdiction. And their answer was, what sex trafficking? We don't have it. The researchers then went and asked the very same questions of rape crisis centers, women's shelters, emergency rooms, social services agencies, primarily women on the front lines of caring for other women. The answer to the same question was, it's an epidemic. So that was the impetus for me to take this minor character from a different series, grow her up and put her down in a place where as a woman, she sees things that have been unseen before her time. Wow, man. The So it's great to go through all these different things with her. Do you have a Vietnam veteran in the story as well? What does that play into the storyline? This is a, a gentleman named Leroy Fanta who came back from the Vietnam War opposed to it and made himself into a newspaper journalist and has been the editor of the small town paper for the for 40 years and as the story bad moon rising picks him up somebody has bought the paper turned it into a shopper and fired him and he's at loose ends because uh, this is his life and his career he turns out to be the person who helps sheriff kick find the bad guy because he can connect the bad guy to a, a series of uh, letters to the editor that he's been receiving over the years. Wow. The What other things can we tease out about the book to readers and stuff? I think one of the things is the environment that it's in. It's, it takes place in a very unique place. I think when people think of the Midwest and Wisconsin, they're thinking of one particular thing. They're thinking of rolling hills and, and flat areas and, and so forth. This is a, an extremely rugged area because it was not glaciated. For some reason, the, the last glacier split and went around it. And so it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's also very raw and very rugged. And <clears throat> this is one of the poorest areas in the state of Wisconsin and one of the poorest areas in the Midwest. And it's a very rich area. It's full of physical beauty. It's full of interesting cultural aspects because it's still very Norwegian and Germanic. They still celebrate Norwegian Independence Day, but it's also full of conflict and crime and poverty and so forth. So I think one of the things to, to look at or one of the reasons to read this series is to learn about this area and to spend time in this area, which is relatively unknown and fascinating and gorgeous there you go sounds like an awesome read and stuff it, do, do, is this do you see the series continuing do you have future books on the cooker that you're working oh, on yeah yeah we were chatting a little bit about this before when you talk to an author about a book <laughs> the author is already a book or two downstream and so sure i'm finishing up the book after this which is called they shoot horses and it's a, a continuation <laughs> of this series and i hope to continue it beyond that but it's going to go for four books at least there you go there you go four of four 
in a city shoe horses. So is Bad Axe going to be in the title or of, of that one? No, yeah. it's 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 only in the title of the first one. Uh, Bad, okay. Bad Axe County. Second one is called Dead Man Dancing, and the third one is called Bad Moon Rising. And unless the title gets changed from between here and, and next summer, the fourth one will be called They Shoot Horses. Awesome. So do you guys, do you see any movie characters developed from this? Do you see an option for a movie Good question. or the, a series? The first two books have been optioned by Skydance oh, wow. for TV series. So Bad Axe County and Dead Man Dancing are already hopefully in that process. It's a little hard to tell uh, right now and books do get optioned and, and nothing comes of it, but I've got, got my fingers crossed. Skydance is a big studio. I've done a lot of great things and so I'm really hopeful. There you go. There you go. This sounds like an awesome book and an awesome read. Anything more we can tease out on the book so that people will be interested in it? Sure. I think like you mentioned, the newspaper, uh, the Vietnam veteran, I think one of the things to be interested in is I have an approach to writing crime that's holistic. I don't stick with the, the one character solves everything. I've got multiple point of view characters that come at the crime from different angles. And so there are other characters that you get deeply involved in. For example, a Vietnam veteran who's been a newspaper editor for 40 years, and now they're closing down the newspaper. Uh, a character like that, or uh, a character who's a baseball star and has been tra traveling the country in the, in the minor leagues and failing to succeed and coming back home and finding his, his family in wreckage. Things like that, all kinds of minor characters that, that really play significant roles and are in point of view in the novels. There you go. So what, what do you like most about writing these types of novels? I like the, the I like the challenge. I like the craft. Mm -hmm. Crime novels are a certain kind of, there's, you got to put a lot of balls in the air. You got to make them all land in the right place. I like the challenge of also making them literary. I like the challenge of, of making them rich with language, rich with imagery. I like the, the, the idea of making sure that they're meaningful. I don't like to write something where the evil behind the story is just one person is crazy. That that doesn't appeal to me. I like the evil in my stories to be basically things that we are all complicit in on some level that are a, a consequence or a, an outcome of a social situation that we're either all suffering from it or we're all benefiting from it or some of both. And so I have a, I have a really high level of complexity that I put into these books. In fact, as, as I'm designing the fourth one, I have a long, I have a long list of things that I'm trying to make sure are part of the book and can be woven into it. It's a challenge just to design the book. Honestly, what I enjoy best about writing is revising and editing because that means the hard work is done. The hard work really is creating something out of thin air. Just nothing exists and then you create it. And getting from page zero to page 300 the first time through is, that's hard work. When I get that far, I really start to enjoy it. There you go. There you go. It sounds like it's going to be an awesome book. And of course, um, uh, you're just going to keep expanding the series. Give us your uh, plugs where people can find you on the interweb and find out more about you. Yeah, I have just a website um, and, and you can go to johngalligan.com. You can also find me on Facebook. There you go. There you go. So guys, check it out. Bad Moon Rising, Bad Axe Country novel will be out uh, June 29th, 2021. You could pre-order it. And then I guess how soon will the next book be out, John? Uh, a year, approximately a year from now. Year I'm, from on now. A, I'm on a you book a year kind of. Book schedule. of your program. You got to love it. You just follow the John Galligan program. Thanks for spending time with us today, John. We certainly appreciate it. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for for tuning in. Go to youtube.com for just Chris Voss. Hit the bell notification button. You can also go to goodreads.com for just Chris Voss and all of our groups on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and all those different places. Thanks for for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.